Well, I'm going to go ahead and open these guys. I've had them for a week today now, and they've just been sitting up here on the shelf beside the hiss like, dude, dude, there's the hiss, dude. <laughs> All right, there they are. There it is, the 788 Fire Team, Fire Team 788. You can say it both ways. They go with the Cobra Hiss. This is the Cobra Hiss Officer, Range Viper, and Infantry. Uh, these guys are pretty popular right now. As of the time of recording, I just checked, and they are still sold out on Pulse. Uh, I'm not sure why anybody that had any idea you might want these guys doesn't have them. They never sold out one time until the Hiss started shipping, and then all of a sudden everybody thought, oh man, I really should have ordered that fire team to go with my Hiss tank. And once everybody got the Hiss in hand, everybody had to have this thing, and it sold out like... So, they'll be back. Don't overpay for these guys. Every time there's a, a Pulse-only exclusive, this happens. It's with the other exclusives you got to worry about with it being all crazy. But these guys will come back in stock. You know, when the Valkyries first come out, um, I ordered them. I liked them. I mean, I well, somebody ordered them for me. I love the Valkyries. I couldn't wait to get them in hand. But there were a lot of people that really dissed the Valkyries. And I, I didn't understand why. I thought they were great. But when they finally started shipping and reports of how cool they were, started coming out everybody uh jumped on the valkyries bandwagon all of a sudden and then they were sold out and i saw valkyries go for near triple retail and that's kind of these i hadn't seen these get that high but that's that's the same thing they'll be back in stock you can buy all the valkyries you want right now so the box art is really cool it matches the his box perfectly it has the same kind of matte down here and then the gloss all of the red is in gloss you've got your semper fidelis serpents always faithful serpents or as i like to say i like to say always faith, faithful cobra serpents because it's got the cobra symbol but i'm gonna go ahead and bust these guys open and get them out I'm not going to actually slip the tape. I know they're in there. They better be, damn it. They come straight from Hasbro. So I'm going to go ahead and get them out, and we'll take a closer look at them. All right, there they are. There is the Fire Team 788. Ha-ha, <laughs> said it right that time. So if you're wondering why my Range Viper uh, looks like he got a little too heavy into the Christmas spirit, it's because when I took him out, the, uh, his legs would not move. So this leg was, I was afraid this leg was fused here, and it also would not bend up here. So uh, usually just, uh, if it's the legs, I microwave a coffee cup for full of water for one minute and drop them in for about 15 or 20 seconds. That's all it takes. And I left them like that so they would kind of uh, cool where I need them to be, and that usually does the trick. I hate having to do it. We shouldn't have to do it. I resisted it for a long time, but it's just the way it is. Um, Lawrence at Punk With Toys reiterates that all the time, and nobody likes it, but that's just that's the way it is. And that was a, that was a Run DMC song, but everybody our age probably knows that. So there's the Range Viper. Uh, this is the officer, and he looks, they all look good. Uh, first impression, I didn't really give a, a first impression there out of the box. They all look good. This is the one I was the most interested in here. This is the infantry. Uh, this, the infantry is one of the best figures in the classified line in my HO. That is humble opinion if you didn't know he's he's absolutely one of the best figures and this as far as repaints go this one is stellar i mean all these guys are repaints we know but they gave him the gloss this is the same gloss that is on the uh, boots for the his drivers and those figures he's the only one of these figures that has this gloss the range vipers now 
Range Viper's mask. Might have a touch of it, but you can see it's not, it's nowhere near the sheen that the uh, infantry has. They all, they all look good. They stand up. Why are you scared to stand? Stand up for yourself. So they all look good, just out of the box, first impressions. I have the box over here because uh, <laughs> I don't know what all's, who's, what's supposed to go with who. So I'm going to set these guys back here where the officer can probably fall over again. Now let's look at all the stuff. Oh, okay, you do it. The one that I, one that I like, you got to be the one to fall over. Make a fool out of me on my own damn video. So these guys come with a ton of stuff. That's why I like the schematics on the back to uh, tell you what is supposed to go with who. But I tell you something, the main thing that drew me to this set, as I said, I did not have a, a hiss for sure coming when I ordered these guys. Right here. That's what I want. That's what I want right there. And I need red ones. Solid red ones. Why are we just now getting these? I know some people don't like them. If you don't like them, give them to me. I'll take them. Every Cobra Trooper needs to come with blue lasers. I'll die on that hill. Blue lasers and that gun right there. If you don't like it, send them to me. I'll take them. I love this cartoon SMG. And I love the blue lasers. And look, they didn't even actually make them lasers. They made them their blast effects. They're just blue. So, but that looks that looks sweet. I like it. That that was I was like, man, they're finally making blue blast effects. I'm all in. So yeah, scrap irons, missiles for that. Uh, plain gray. Uh, rockets, they're not missiles. So you got the same same thing that we've seen. Bazooka uh, backpack that holds them. This is all, this is all gray. It's very bland, but it also matches the motif of the set. So can't really knock any points off for that because there that's when you put it all together, it's just more gray on a figure that is uh, I'm, I'm pointing at pointing at the wrong guy. Okay. So, okay, yeah, huh. infantry has the rockets. So, he has no gray. So, maybe that'll break him up a little bit. I was thinking they went with the officer. I mixed them up in my head. So, we got that. We've got this bad uh, version of, I guess, an M4. Uh, this is the closest thing we've gotten in the line to the uh, Leathernecks gun and Copperheads gun with the the grenade launcher on the bottom it it's it's not a bad weapon but it's not one of the better weapons magazine is detachable it just doesn't look good in most hands these guys are a little smaller maybe they'll look okay with them they got we got a your basic old knife here it does have the silver paint app on it uh, we do have one of the better pistols i think it is a smaller one I like the extended mag on this pistol. They don't look good for every character, but for smaller frame characters, they look pretty good. Then we've got this pistol. Uh, again, these have no paint apps on it. There is the thing that you're always going to lose that goes on the back of the rocket launcher. We've got the scabbard for something. Hmm. Uh, nope, not going to be that one. Hmm, what goes in that, what goes in the scabbard? And who has the scabbard? It's not even on the back of the box which figure gets the scabbard. Normally that would come with the officer because uh, he does have the scabbard. No, oh, I already put my X-Acto up. I have to get old trusty X-Acto back out. see this is I believe yeah this range vipers and then here is range vipers backpack okay there's no tape on that one. Oh, I forgot to mention the the weapons locker that holds all this stuff if you didn't know is like the uh, the hiss 
it opens from the side air flaps, not from the top or the bottom like what we've been getting. So, and then you got all of your blast effects there. There's, of course, Range Viper's pickaxe, Range Viper's sigh. I kind of wish the weapons had to come individually packed to the figure, but then again, I guess you can mix up whoever you want to mix up. A bandolier goes with Range Viper. I'm not going to sit here and put weapons on all of them. I'll pause and then I will do that and then I'll, I'll start again and kind of show them off. The weapons are standard issue pretty much other than we got the blast effects and we've got the red paint apps on here with the gray. We've seen all of these before. No, these all are repack weapons. So the the interesting part on these guys is the figures, all right? That's what you're buying them for. So that's that's how they look up close. They are very good looking, very good looking set of repaints. I feel like they were a little overpriced personally, but I get it. I mean, they're they're not con exclusives or anything. Look, they're holding hands. Red Rover, Red Rover, let Cobra Commander come over. They're also not all in frame. Ah, now they are. Look at the camera. So I, I think they were a little overpriced for the set, personally. Uh, they are good repaints. I don't really see. I kind of looked them over. I don't see anything really sloppy on them. Uh, they've got the nice highlights with the red here on the on my officer. I've seen some people do some head swaps with that new Python officer, trooper, whatever he is and mix and match these guys around and some of the parts look really good i'll never do it because i'm not going to take these guys apart but it's kind of as i thought it would be with the figures my my favorite one is the the uh infantry range viper is a close second range viper looks good he's he's menacing as a range viper should be still got the still got the red eyes this this doesn't do it for me the way the the regular with the blue does. I just I like that version of Range Viper better. This looks good. I mean, it's well done. It's it, it's a cool figure. He's still very intimidating looking. I just happen to like the blue better, but he does fit in with this very nicely with this pack. Uh, this is a little bit different color red here on his pack out. And I forgot to mention that the infantry, this is a different vest. I'm, I, don't I don't remember whose vest this is because I'm not good at remembering all of that stuff. But this is different. His regular, he has a pistol here. Uh, it's a, This one fits better, obviously, for what he's doing. Got the uh, Always Faithful Serpents there on him. Got the 788 on the shoulder, and he is the only one that has that. Man, all of you just fall over. Is that? I can't tell what that is. Is that the? It doesn't look like the Serpent's logo. I don't know what that is. If I can get it on camera so you guys can see it. I'm not sure exactly. Maybe it shows up on camera because I can't see it. So I don't know if that's the Serpents or not. Either way, he's got something, some cool insignia on his. I really do like the infantry figure the best. Range Viper is not bad. None of them are bad. They just, I don't care for them as much as the regular versions because um, these. Honestly, all three of these figures, the Range Viper, the Infantry, and the regular, the Blue Officer, are some of the best looking Cobras that have been released yet. That's my H.O. So hang on just a minute. I'm going to pause it and get these guys equipped, and we'll bring some friends in to do some side-by-side. -side. Yeah, they're friends of mine. This is a friend of mine. They're friends of mine, at least, because uh, always faithful Cobra Serpents. So, I'm going to scoot this guy out of the way, and I'm going to scoot this guy out of the way, 
because I need to get this out of my system now so I can go over the good figures. This dude here is an abortion of a good action figure. He could have been he could have been something. He could have been a contender. First he's got this busted ass hip dysplasia. Uh, the Cobra Python Trooper Officer thing had that too. This one is way worse than mine. I, I talked to somebody else and he said his was jacked up too on this figure. So we have his knife, which is not the proper knife that goes with this figure. And he does have this. That's like the only upside to this figure. And he has the helmet that has the 788 on it. That looks good. The body looks good. These leg I don't know what they did with these legs unless it's a different torso somehow and it connects differently because this he's made exactly like the Python Patrol one. And none of these like his everything is web gear. It's the web gear from that figure. It's the web gear from the regular officer. All of this is the same. They just basically gave him a bunch of different weapons that don't go with him. But this also it was not his original pistol, and it does not go in there very far at all. It barely fits in there. The other, the other one had the Mauser-looking pistol, I believe. So here we go to the scabbard that came with that figure and actually came with the little uh, SMG, I guess, like Stalker come with. It fits in the scabbard. This fits if you push it in there and it catches at the top at the handle uh, there's nothing to go in here you can put the silencer in there I think from the other guy and he I've got a sloppy paint on the boot they just basically took the original infantry upper torso and everything else from the officer and put it together and then when they did this they I, I, these are I think Valkyrie I think this is a Valkyrie loadout now that I'm actually thinking about it that's what this looks like it's a loadout for the Valkyrie this is a horrible figure if you look at him back here and he don't ever do anything actually he don't look good like that let's try to tilt him some other way okay I, I, He's got the SMG. I'm going to see there's a way I've been told that you can work on this hip, and I can't stand taking apart a figure, especially a figure of an expensive set, just to make it look right. But look at that. That's, that's that thigh gap they talk about, or hip gap is what that is. I'm, I'm going to put him back here, kind of out of frame and out of sight, out of mind, because I don't want to look at him no more. Right now, I want to look at a good-looking figure. So, Range Viper is actually better than my Range Viper, my first Range Viper that I got, for original, um, you know, classified Range Viper. Same loadout, everything. He comes with everything that Range Viper comes with. And he's rocking, look, he's, he is rocking three different shades of red. He should have been part of the Crimson Strike Pack. He'd have fit right in with the non-matching Crimson motif that looks wonky on the shelf. He's the same figure, just in these colors. He does look very, very good. I do really like this figure. He's a good take on Range Viper, but I still like the original better. And this is somebody that hated the real American hero Range Viper. Uh, we'll talk about that another time, but Range Viper is a fantastic figure, especially the blue one. This one fits in set with the set great. There is his little, uh, it can't be an LMG. That's, got, that's an HMG. That's what one that uh, Stalker has. I didn't try and take that out, but it, it comes out. It came with the canister already in there and already loaded for bear. I typically don't use it because I like the grenade launcher for Range Viper. So let's get over here to this guy. My first impression of this figure was correct, in my opinion. He's the best one. 
Uh, he looks even better without the cool helmet. I uh, hate to not use that helmet, but this figure looks better without it to me. Unfortunately, they did him dirty and given, gave him this uh, bazooka that makes every figure you put it on do that. Uh, it attributes to my bazooka figure falling off the shelf about once a week. Now, I know his legs are jacked up, but at least the backpack, it looks right on bazooka. It's, it's huge here. Not that this dude couldn't carry it. It just doesn't look right with this figure. And it does have the same uh, where the, the vest and everything does not fit flush. The backpack peg, it'll eventually... It'll work itself loose, and it stays in him actually better than it stays in Bazooka's back. Oh, this is all, you know, talked about this. It's it's plain, but it needs to be. Unfortunately, it matches Jack Hole back here. This, is, this dude is an entirely different shade of gray. So I know they made him the officer, and an officer's not going to carry this, but it, it does not look good with this figure at all. Give him the little girl pistol and let him chill so i i won't use this i don't like breaking the setup but i've already got to get a ziploc out for this so this is going in it and i will find a more suitable weapon for this guy so i'm going to start with him since he's here here's the infantry figure the vest is different as i was saying uh, everything else appears to pretty much be the same. They just put shiny paint on it. This is a proper repaint. Even if they did change his uh, web gear a bit, it's okay because it, it, goes, it goes with this. Now on this guy, I do have his helmet on on the shelf because all of my Cobra Troopers helmets are on. I know I said it looked better with it off, and it does on that figure too. But that figure is blue and black, not this fancy red and black. Did we just spend a whole bunch of money to get something to have matching figures for? So I'm going to look at him, or sort of set him off to the side. Let's grab Range Viper. And you've seen my other Range Viper chilling over here the whole video. So it's like 3D. I like to do pictures. Oh, no, we got to cover him. It's like 3D. I like to do pictures in 3D with the blue and the, the red. Same everything. The bullets on the original release are a little glossier, but that don't make any difference. It's also a different shade than what comes with Tunnel Rat. I didn't get him and put him over here because I've got him holding that big ridiculous gun, and every time I look at it, it he falls with bazooka. So, like I said, this is my standard Range Viper loadout. Let's get the new one in the frame more. Pretty much the same everything, which he comes he comes with good accessories. The backpack's not too chunky on him. It does not fit in there well. So you can see they are the same figure. And I don't move him around, but you kind of have to have Range Viper with his backpack on because he's got the breathing apparatus thingamabob. So I'm going to set him over here. And we're going to take a look at Carl. Come here, Carl. What happened to you, buddy? You falling on hard times. I hate to see such a good looking figure fall on hard times. So you can see this one does not have the hip issue at all. I don't know if it's because the torso is different. I don't know if it shouldn't have anything to do with the waist and the hip, but I, I don't build these things for a living. So he's not a bad looking figure if you look at him from that angle. Oh, and you take that out because it don't fit. Actually, let's just take that off. So if you look at him right there, he's a good looking figure. So I'm, I might put him on the shelf like he's looking at something behind the hiss where everybody else is. So there's the knife that's, you turn this dude upside down and that knife's going goodbye. The much better pistol that went with this figure. So it doesn't help that this guy's put together not great. But they didn't give him this loadout. <laughs> How 
How do you not give this dude this gun? How? All them Sergeant Slaughters just went to Ollie's. He comes with this gun. I know there's extras. Though, his fits. So, this guy brings the set down for me. Oh, we talked about Carl. Let's talk about Daryl. At least they gave him a, a good gun. Other than that one. The right gun. They gave him the right accessories all the way around. So, they got that part right. So, I think what I'm going to do is... Once I get the hip operation done, I'm going to give uh, Derpy here his loadout, and I'll stick him with his. And I don't do this with my figures, but i got to have something to make this dude better on myself. So, that's those guys. I know I say so a lot, but, you know, so. Go ahead and put the team back over here. I'm going to put him in the back. Let your face show. At least it looks right. So that's the Cobra Hiss 788 team. Fire team. I always say it wrong. I got it right like once. So there, um, I'm going to do some uh, do a video with them. Put them on the Lazy Susan and show them off a little better. Guys, I don't know. Everybody really likes them. They're really hot right now. They, I don't know, they they don't do it for me, honestly. Uh, everybody likes them. These two figures here, these two are nice. But the accessories, just the way the other one brings it down, I mean, it brings it down a third. And then you got to factor in that they're all repaints. You got to factor in that everything in here is reused. And I know that's the way the game goes, but they... This was a premium set. They got premium packaging, and they are sold to bring more money out of everybody that bought the Hiss. I know this don't sound good. I know it sounds like I hate them. I don't hate them. They're just not as good as I hope they would be. Uh, and that that officer figure is just it's awful. So I, this may be a unpopular opinion, and I may get some thumbs down. I'm sorry, guys, but these are. These dudes are about a three and a half yeehaws for me. Mm, you know, if you figure that out, that would be about right. Because if you added in the other the other figure, if he was a good figure, that would have brought it up. You know, these guys would have been as a set, because I'm ranking them as a set. It would have brought them up and if he was the quality of those two, and they at least give him the proper officer real officer accessories these guys would have been an easy an easy four i don't think i don't think they'd have hit a four and a half for me but they would have been a four so that dude only bringing this set down half a yeehaw is not too bad so do you need them well don't put me in don't put that on me ricky bobby don't put that on me I don't know. If you've got a hiss, they're going to look great displayed beside. If you don't have a hiss, and for whatever reason, and this was me before I was able to acquire a hiss because I ordered these guys, I don't know that you need them. The, the original characters all look better. They're all better made. Um... Range Viper is probably the same, about the same quality. Actually, this this Range Viper here, the fire team is a little better than my first Range Viper. So I don't I don't know if you definitely want them if you've got a hiss. If you don't have a hiss, you don't need them unless you're just trying to collect everything. Uh, these two are the standouts minus the rockets. So. There it is, y'all. Uh, might not be the most popular opinion out there, but it is mine. And uh, Unfortunately, my opinions don't always follow the status quo. So I appreciate you guys hanging in this long. I'll get a couple pictures of them or a video or something. 
And we'll see you guys next time on Three Star Draw. If you like what I'm doing, I appreciate you hitting that thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you all on the next one.